Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is our third annual There and Back, a celebration of survival, and our theme is Downton Abbey. So that's why you see women dressed in 1920s outfits and some Edwardian outfits. But the surprise tonight is our fashion show, which we have actual vintage clothing from Edwardian times through the 1920s, many of it made in Europe, and it would be what you'd see Lady Mary wear. No Surrender Breast Cancer Foundation helps women from the moment they're diagnosed through every step of their treatment taking them through what need to wear to surgery, what they should eat the day of chemotherapy, and then how to live the best life after cancer. And the proceeds for this event, as all of our events, go to our Before 40 initiative, which helps women who are young and African American get screened for breast cancer because they are more likely to get triple negative breast cancer before the age of 40 but people tell you that don't get a mammogram until after 40. So our initiative has grown across Long Island and New York City and the Bronx, and we've saved a lot of lives just by educating young women that they need to go and get screened before the age of 40. Thank you, Jesse. Really great to be around healthy, strong women who have all survived it. We've come through, gone through a horrible ordeal, and we've come out the other side. And to talk to people and be with people and give our support and talk. Little ridiculous things like you get a metal taste, talk to somebody else who knows how to take care of it. It just means a lot to be around other people, but strong people. We're not negative like, oh, woe is me. We've come through it and we're going on with our lives. And that's the most important. I'm a three year breast cancer survivor and Gina and I have the same reconstructive surgeon, Dr. Israeli, who's fantastic. That's how I met her and I told her that I wanted to do something to give back. Well, just the name alone, No Surrender, is telling. Um, none of us surrender to this and look at us now. I love the fact that you know, in a way we're celebrating something that was so horrible. So I do, I have to applaud Gina for her efforts in in making you know survivors, she's a survivor as well. You know, um, feel that there is some celebratory nature of of having had breast cancer. Everybody has a different story, and it's just yeah, it's like a sorority. As but as Rosemary says, it's not a club you really want to get into. But now that we're here, making the best of it. As it's been described to me, I'm being honored as a 12-year cancer survivor, a community activist, and acclaimed vocalist. Twelve years ago, I was diagnosed with acute promyelocytic leukemia, and I was in a five-year clinical trial and I came through it and I'm in the first group of survivors, long-term survivors, uh, with, so it's a scientific breakthrough. How we're singing a love song, this music in the breeze, when I'm with you. And unfortunately, two years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And some people have said it's like getting hit with lightning twice. And, but again, I f felt grateful I was one more day when some, they still haven't been able to find the cure for so many. So each day is precious. I think it's amazing that we're finding ways to help survivors and offer quality of life. And that's the most important thing. That's why we're here tonight. Don't be afraid to articulate what you feel you need. Don't give up and love yourself. You may be pushed out by people or lose your job or not understood, but love yourself and surround yourself with those who love you. Mm -hmm. 